So now the default lens is mounted and it's transmitting the video signal to the goggles and that's what you get through the default lens. And that's the entire image. I'm trying to unscrew the lens. This part is moving and this one is moving also. So that's the securing element that makes the lens tighter. That square thing that has to be the infrared filter. That's the standard FPV lens. And the sensor should be visible. There's the sensor of the FPV camera. Now I will mount the other lens, which is in the package. So the smaller lens, the shorter one is the default lens, and the longer one is the wide-angle lens. And that's the securing ring. Now I will mount them. So I mounted the securing ring onto it. And now let's try to introduce it. It has to be focalized also by screwing it more in or out. That's why I place this one to the end. So I'm unscrewing it so that I can move this one. Okay, so let's connect the FPV goggles. Turn it on. Okay, and plug in the battery also, somehow. Let's see, can I do it with one hand? It's going to make a large noise. That's the noise. Okay, and position it into the same place on the dashboard. And of course it's out of focus. You can't see anything. So I'm going to rotate the lens and meanwhile take a look here. I can see something. It's getting better. Now it's getting worse, so reverse. Somewhere here. Let's say that much. And we can definitely see more. Before we could see Somewhere here to the end of the door. I'm not sure on the right side. Where is it? Here on the right side. I could definitely not see the propeller. Okay, I moved the propeller, but I could not see as I remember the propeller protector, prop guard, neither that one. So that's the wide angle FPV lens. Okay, and I should tighten this ring also, somehow. Maybe I can't. It has no thread already. Okay, maybe I can glue it somehow. I will see. I can take off that ring from the lens because it's not useful for this one. The lens has to be threaded quite deep and thus that ring won't have any thread. It will be here at the end somewhere. But instead, let's use something else. I put a piece of paper duct tape and now I will try to thread it in. Maybe it's way too tight. Okay, that was too tight, so I will try a smaller piece of paper. Let's say only that much paper on the lens. It's much better. I can still move it, but the vibrations should not move it that easily. Now I have to turn on the goggles and do the focalizing. It should point out somewhere. And meanwhile, screw it in. Okay, and the lens is mounted and it's tight enough and the image is good enough.
Okay, so that's the wide angle FPV lens instead of the standard FPV lens on the FPV quad cutter. That's the JGRC X1 with an FPV mod done to it. And thanks for watching and bye bye.